This is a section from the appendix. Here's the appendix right here, but what I'm going to prove to you is that this mucin right here is not a low-grade mucinous neoplasm. Let's start with the appendix itself. Here's the lumen, right? Down here is the lumen. Here is the mucosa of the appendix, and it looks like every other appendiceal mucosa. There is a substantial amount of inflammation. Here are the crypts. There seems to be acute inflammation in the lumen of the appendix. Let's move to the other side of the appendix. Clearly, there's ulceration of the lining epithelium. Interestingly, the majority of the cells down here are predominantly lymphocytes, not your usual neutrophilic infiltrate that you see with rip-roaring acute appendicitis. Again, a total ulceration of the lining epithelium right here. But what we're re truly interested in is what's going on here because there seems to be a double barrel appendix, right? Here's one lumen, here's another lumen. Notice what's happening here. There's a rent in the muscularis propria right there. And if you look at this stuff here, this looks exactly like the mucosal lining of the appendix. Back out for a minute. Here's a rent and here is mucosal lining. This is the diverticulum of the appendix. And what is fascinating is that the mucosa lining, the diverticulum, shows exactly the same changes as the mucosa lining, the native appendix. Instead, it goes a step further because you'll see that there are sheets of neutrophils, if this comes into focus, there are sheets of neutrophils lining this ulcerated diverticulum. And then what about that mucin? That mucin is actually being produced by the diverticulum. This is not a low-grade mucinous neoplasm. This is mucin being produced by an appendiceal diverticulum. So to sum all of this up, this is acute appendicitis involving the native appendix with an appendiceal diverticulum. The diverticulum has diverticulitis and that diverticulitis has resulted in the production of a small amount of extracellular mucin. Now in some cases this mucin could dominate the picture. In this particular instance it appears as a sideshow but in some instances where the mucin dominates the histologic picture, lesions such as this could be mistaken for a low-grade appendiceal mucinous neoplasm.